Do you want to find out how to allow yourself to have some drinks and not feel so guilty about it? Here's how, guys. The first drink that we're preparing today is my ultimate favorite drink, guys. It's called the Bloody Mary. This drink is super fun because you can prepare it in many different ways. But this is my go-to recipe for this particular drink. We started with eight ounces of tomato juice. Then we added celery salt, garlic salt, and some Tabasco sauce. Some freshly ground black pepper, kosher salt, and vodka of your choice. Now I added some ice and then I started to shake. Don't be afraid to shake that drink. Have some fun, guys. Then we're gonna add some salt to the rim. What I want you to do is grab two plates and add celery salt, cayenne pepper, and garlic salt. That goes into one plate and then the other plate, you're gonna add some water, just enough so that the rim of the glass can be submersed into it. Take the glass, put it in the water, and then put it in the salt mixture. So after that, I grabbed a toothpick and I put a peppercino pepper and some beef jerky. Cut some lime and lemon wedges and add it to the rim of your glass. And to put my final touch, I put a celery stick. So there you go, that is your Bloody Mary. The second drink I made was a spicy strawberry margarita. We started with mashing up some strawberries. I chose to do it with a spoon and you can do it however you want, but the important thing is that they're mashed properly. Then I added half squeezed lime juice. Instead of agave nectar, I added stevia. Pour tequila into the mixture have a plate with a little bit of water and the other plate with some salt. I chose thick salt, but you can use regular salt if you like. Now shake things up and pour it in. Throw some ice into the cup. Now I love a spicy drink, I actually love anything spicy, so I added some jalapenos. But if you don't like spicy, then just go ahead and disregard that portion. And for a final touch, I cut a strawberry and added it to the rim just to make it pretty. The third and final drink was a mojito. The first thing I did here was cut a lime in half and squeezed it into my mixer. Add some club soda. We're gonna put some stevia. Add some rum. Now we're gonna set it aside and we're not gonna shake it because we don't want the bubbles to go away. Now we're gonna prepare the glass so we can pour the mixture. I added 10 mint leaves. Throw some ice into the cup and pour your mixture. The last thing I did was cut a lime and put it as garnish on the glass. Okay guys, so I wanted to come outside to explain a little bit about the drinks and what to do and what not to do in regards to alcohol. Now the liquors that I use in this video are not the highest in sugars and the mixtures are freshly made with fresh ingredients. No sugar added. Guys, this is the main key, to avoid sugary mixtures and to avoid adding more calories to what already has enough. Alcohols are processed exactly like sugars and sugars are empty calories. They provide no benefit to you. So if you wanna incorporate a few drinks into your healthy lifestyle then you have to make sure to not throw your macronutrient intake out of balance sugars are a source of energy the main macronutrients that provide you energy are carbohydrates and fats so 
Let's say you're out and about, you're having some drinks with some people, and you want to make sure that you don't fall into the binge drinking. So what do we do? We add a bottle of water in between the drinks that you're having in that night. That's gonna slow down your drinking intake, it's gonna entertain you, and it's gonna keep you hydrated. So let's say you have four drinks in one night. That's 200 calories per drink for 800 calories in total. So what are you gonna do in the next couple of days to burn this off? Option A is to keep your diet exactly the same, but add 800 calorie cardio session. Option B is to subtract 800 calories from the macronutrients you have highest of between carbs and fats, but don't alter your protein intake. Or your third option, option C, is to do a mixture between option A and B, which is to cut 400 calories from your macronutrient intake and burn 400 calories in your cardio workout. Guys, this is not something I recommend on a regular basis. This is strictly talking for occasions. Drinking on a regular basis is gonna only affect you negatively. Your liver function and your metabolism are gonna suffer greatly. So what does this mean? You're not gonna be processing your macronutrients as effectively as you would without alcohol. Guys, I believe in a balanced lifestyle. You have specific goals, you wanna meet them, then make sure that you're honest with yourself. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video as I had making it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.